Hello, YouTubers. Welcome to Johnny's Nasdaq YouTube channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you a GitHub project I found recently, Docker Ubuntu VNC Desktop. It's not new, it's been two, three years, not being updated, but still working fine. Basically, this project is gonna give you a Docker image to let you run Ubuntu VNC Desktop in the cloud. As long as you have a good Docker environment in the cloud, at least one gig RAM, one gig CPU, I would suggest two gig RAM, two virtual CPU, then you can run this without any problem. It supports basic authentication, SSL, change screen resolution, and also it supports sound as well. I do have a couple videos to show you how to get VNC desktop experience in the cloud with sound. Please check out these videos in my channel. In this video, basically, I'm going to show you using Google Cloud Console to run with root access. So now let's jump into it. To get into Google Cloud Shell, you need to have a Google account. It's very easy to get one. If you don't have, just register one. For me, I already have one. I'm just trying to log in right now. Since I already have logged in, it's going to be very simple. I just go to console. That's Google Cloud Console. From there, you can click the Activate Cloud Share. If you haven't activated before first time, it may take you for one or two minutes. But for me, I already did that before. It's supposed to be very simple, just a couple of seconds. You will get the root access, of course. If you want to check the CPU and the memory, you will see it does have a four virtual CPU on this cloud share, sure. 0, 1, 2, 3, and we got uh, 16 gig on this machine. Sometimes I got two virtual CPU on my account and a gig RAM, but this account we can have four virtual cpu and six gig ram that's awesome you got to load the access of course if you want to see more information you should be able to cpu info to see more processors information Let's see what kind of a virtualization technology is used behind of this. It's a KVM. I tried that before, so we should be able to see that information. KVM. It's a Linux kernel based virtual machine. To run this Ubuntu desktop on Docker, you should be able to see Docker already be installed previously. Docker Compose and Docker Pose has been installed. So for us, it's very simple. We just need to grab a command from here. But we're going to run a very simple command. It, it, the port is 6080. By default, our console using port 8080. So I'm going to change the command a little bit. So we're going to run docker run here on port 8080. So in that case, we can directly use in web preview and then docker image. This is a docker image we're going to use. then launch it just one command one command we can launch this fabulous ubuntu desktop in the google cloud console while it's running so i'm gonna show you some limitation cloud share has a non-interactive session for one hour so if you are not using your cloud share type in a command or do some work there, by default, one hour it will be terminated. And the cap for total one 
cloud share session is 12 hours. So no matter what you do in 12 hours, the whole session will be terminated. But you can start a new session right away. So just keep this information in mind. Let's go back to here. So that looks like our session is up and running. So this is listening on 6079 on local, but uh, we should be able to launch it from port 8080. If the port 8080 has been occupied, you always can change it to different port to launch the session. So here is a desktop. So let's look what we can have from the application perspective. So it's pre-installed Firefox web browser, so you can easily launch it. You can go to YouTube. On assistant tour, you can have terminal, so you can have a root access on your terminal. So if you want to root, check my channel from here. Let's check it out. So it's running in the background. So at the same time, we can open a session to see the CPU memory utilization on this machine, this cloud share. So it's probably used like 25% while we are playing YouTube video. Memory is also minimum, less than 1.3 gigabytes memory. Basically, this Ubuntu desktop isn't consuming that much resources on this shell machine. So that's pretty much everything I want to show you in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give me a thumb up if you like it. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Thank you for your watching. See you in my next video.